Ooh. I feel like a volcano is spraying out lava. No, oh my God, no. This is not what I thought of it tastes yeah, like. Yeah, I've got regrets. Hey, we're back to try alcohol from around the world, part two. I'm excited to try more stuff. Last time it was lit, especially Jamaica with the rain nephew. No. <laughs> mm -mm. I've lost the use of my left eye. Okay, hold on. So we go again. How, how's your left eye now? It's good. It's back. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. see what happens. We don't know what we've got in store. <laughs> we've got cachaça and beer. Original. I've had like Brazilian drinks, so like a capihana and stuff like that. Like, <sighs> it smells like a classic lager. Pilsen. But yeah, it looks like apple juice. It is quite light. Cheers. Oh my gosh, it's really nice. It's really this nice. This is the first beer that I've ever liked. Really? Oh my gosh. <sighs> I think that's really refreshing. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. And I hate beer. It tastes like a watered-down beer, almost, for me. I think that stands up to, like, most European lagers. For, for people who hate beer but want to drink it and enjoy it. Brazilians probably have this on them. Obviously, it's really hot, and then this mm. is really cold. Oh. The beach, you've got the boys in front of you doing some kick-ups. Yeah, you've got a couple of these flying about. So it's a nine for me. I would give it a nine as well. I really enjoy this beer. I'm going to give it a seven. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a seven. I'll give it an eight. It's a good beer. I'm going to give it a seven. See, whenever they have this little like stopper thing, that's when you know we're in trouble. That smells disgusting. Yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh. Oh. That smells like a vinegary tequila. Cheers. You know what? That was all right. Uh. It stinks. <laughs> oh. Ugh. It's too early in the day to be doing this. It's a mix between like a vodka and a gin at the same time. And, and tequila, so it's like a mixture. Compared to the smell, it's not as bad, but it's, it's not good. I would give this an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight because it is, um, it's not like it doesn't taste bad. No. Five. I'm going with a four. Oh. Maybe even a three. Oh. Sorry, 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 Brazilian. Disclaimer, I like Brazil. This, dead. One out of 10. I would give this a four out of 10. The Philippines. Oh, yes, come on. That looks like a cool bottle I as well. Have, I also really like the bottle. Very religious. Hmm, this smells more beery. This one, seven, mm. quite strong. This looks more like an English beer, do you know what I mean? No. I like that. This is a bit of me. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good, man. Like a beery beer you're not going to like. No. Yeah. So then that means it must be a good beer. Yeah. yeah, it's just beer, but nice. Beer, but nice. It doesn't have that horrible, like, after, like, back mm -hmm. bitey taste. It's, it's comfy. It's giving, like, a get home from work, put some TV on and drink this. You can catch me in the Philippines drinking nothing but red horses. I'm, I'm going to give this a six. I'm, I'm going to go with a strong eight. I actually really like this beer. For me, strong eight. It's a solid beer. Love it. Nice and strong. Thanks, Philippines. But because I don't like it, that means I know it's good. So maybe it is an eight. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. For the culture, 10 out of 10. Oh. So the picture is very intriguing because that is, yeah. there's like a devil angel thing. Gin shots are never great. No, they're never gin. great. The last one we'll do a full shot, whatever it is. I don't think I've ever had a shot of gin before. It's not, it doesn't smell like a high quality gin. It smells like a Bombay Sapphire type gin. First ever shot of gin. My last ever shot of gin. Oh. I think I expected it to be worse than it is. Like when it went down, it was a bit, a little bit smoother than I thought. Cool. They haven't really added any extras in. They haven't even flavored it out. It's like bog standard straight gin. Where's the tonic? Ooh! I've got a newfound respect for this drinking this straight. That's like, whew. it's smooth enough though. I mean, I, I liked it. I think it was nice. In the realms of gin, it's a four out of ten because there's so many better gins on this. On this greener. Average for me, five. Uh, no, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Do you know what? For a gin, 10 out of 10. But I actually really like the label. Um, I would give this a six out of 10, honestly. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna give this, I'll just give it a four. Sorry, I'm sorry. Ooh. This just looks, this is fun to me. I don't know, it just looks fun. So I trust that 
these will be good because the Zim people really know how to drink. Oh, it's got the oh, little... Uh, this is, you know it's bad. It's got it's a little little you need to pour it. Like. Flavours of berries, plum and hints of chocolate. Ooh. Oh, so, so it's a Cabaret Sauvignon. What, the leg? It's, you know when it drips down and it's got oh, the... Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Smell it. Mmm. Mm. Yeah? What? <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's a heavy one. I think that's quite lovely, though. Do I like that? No. It's nice, but it's not thick like red wine. Mm. I prefer like a drier wine. I like a more like acidic one. Yeah, you know, like red wine usually like coats your tongue. Yeah. This does not do that in one drop. This is a serious, this... civilized yeah. wine. Adult wine. I would give this wine an eight out of ten. I think I'm gonna give this a seven out of ten. I'm giving this a solid. Yeah, I feel like I agree. I'm gonna give it a six. It's not bad, but it's not great, so I'm gonna give it a six as well. I don't think I've ever had brandy when I'm not sick. Brandy is medicinal. I didn't know that. In my culture. I think it's actually a bit light in colour for a brandy. Oh, I like that. I could have it on the rocks. Good. This yeah. is. Ooh. Give me a vis on the rocks. <laughs> Ooh, it's not what I thought it would taste Yeah, I've got regrets. It's nicer than I thought it was. It's not bad. It's not great. You want something to be like, <sighs> you know, you feel it, your mouth is filling up with flavour. I reckon with ice, it's very nice. Okay, wrapper. I enjoyed it. I'm going to give it a good seven. I'm going to give it a five. I'm going for a seven out of ten. I'm going to give this a six. I would also give this an eight out of ten. I like it. I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. Ooh. Just like extra points for the, for the garnish. The garnish. <laughs> Oh, triple stout. Oh, I'm excited for this. I'm a big fan of Guinness. It's going to be a good time, but I know with both of them, we're in the Caribbean, so it's going to be strong. Sorry, this is bad graphic design. <laughs> this is like a case of the drink speaks for itself. You are going to hate this. Really? I'm going to just put it out here right now. You're going to be like, this is not for me. It looks healthy. You don't need to take your iron tablets if you're drinking this. This thing is literally black. Like, you can't even see through it at all. No way. Told you. No way! That's that, 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 I think it's delicious. Mm. Mm. Actually, that's not bad. This is a bit of me. This is an alcoholic super malt. Oh, nah, man. I'm home. That's good, man. Am I getting like a bit of a coffee vibe, but like very light? This basically tastes like dark chocolate in a bottle. Which is such a glowing advertisement for it. For someone that likes Guinness, I feel like this is better than Guinness. But if you've had the Guinness with the gold top, the extra stout, it might be close, but this is triple stout. I am not a stout girly. This is getting a straight four for me. As a stout girly, and I will be giving it the score of nine. You know what? I am going to give this a 10 out of 10. No, I'm going to give this 10 out of 10, but not just for the culture. It's... I'd give this a solid eight out of 10, because I love soap and well. Nine out of 10 for me. I loved it. Cheers. Oh, you smell it. Sereni. That smells like a candle. Do you know what I mean? It's like cherry kind of, right? Mm, it's a rum thing though, isn't it? It says it's smooth and crisp, so let's see. Oh my word, that is so nice. No? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's dangerous. That just, that just flies down. I would shop that every day of the yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Growing. That was actually all right. Yeah. That hit me like rum should have hit me. Then it got, I think the, the sorrel came in and was like, you're okay, so baby. Good, so yeah, good. and then just came back and like nurtured me. I imagine it's either you're at a carnival, mm -hmm. barbecue, mm. party, that you'd have this. It is strong, but it goes down so nicely that you forget about that. There, there was a sweetness to that. And this was solid. It was given sours, but like not yeah. without, with, with less tang. This is a straight eight. Straight eight. What? Straight eight. I thought you were. I thought you were with me. I'm giving this a ten. This is a you ten. know. Yeah, go on. Ten. ten. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. Sorry. You're ten. A nine. Out of ten, I'm gonna give this a solid eight. Fifteen out of ten. Beautiful. I would give this a ten out of ten. I thoroughly enjoyed this drink. It's like they've packaged it as like one of them little hip flask bottles. It's actually just wham. This is not for beginners. This, this is eighty percent. Eighty percent. Oh my god. Did you say before? Last one what? The last one we'll do a full shot, whatever it is. I said the last one we have to do a full By shot. By yourself, babe. 
What are you doing? I'm pouring myself a shot. It's 80%. <laughs> oh. Okay. Do you smell Come on, that? You got it. That is petrol. Back yourself. It looks like medicine. <laughs> nah, it's good. You get out of here. It's nice. I like this. No, no, oh my God, no, because actually it's acetone. It's what you take your nails off with. <coughs> oh my God. I feel like a volcano is spraying out lava. We just drank acetone. Cool. It's actually all right. Right, that's a healthy burn. That's like what you want. What are you going through right now? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, my breath is so hot. I feel like I've eaten a chili. It tastes kind of like cow pole, but if you made it 80%. Having had like 80% absinthe, this was way nicer. Oh my God, 80%? Why did I think that was gonna be nothing? Because you're a dickhead. <laughs> oh, you're such a wallad. Oh my God. My brain is immediately hurting. Have you ever been punched in the head and you're in a daze? Oh, I've had a football in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you've been hit in the head yeah, and like you're just bamboozled when for When you it. see like the ducks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm feeling right now. Whose stupid idea was it to do a whole shot of that? I would give this an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. Wow. I'm going to give this a 9. I am going to give this a 7, just because it's 80%, but it really does not taste like it's 80%. This was 80%, so I'm going to give it an 8. I just don't even know how to rate it, because all I tasted was pain. So you know what? Because we're in the cost of living crisis, I'm going to give it an 8. Oh. Cost of living, if you do two shots of 80%, You reckon two shots of that is getting you drunk? That's four drinks. You think? That's four drinks. <laughs> Quick maths. Do you know what I'm saying? You know true plus true is true. <laughs> <laughs> a seltzer. It's like a seltzer cider-esque. Why is it so cloudy? <sighs> so refreshing. This is just like fizzy water. Lovely jubbly. Ah, oh, memories. That's like 90% Fanta and maybe 10% beer. I'm very disappointed in this drink. But it's giving me like Barocca. Because not, not only is it only 2% alcohol, but it also tastes really bad because it's grapefruit flavour. Mm. Instantly got Sunny Delight, Orangina vibes, even though it's grapefruit, but... I'm gonna give this oh. a 6 out of 10. Just like the amount of units it has, I'm gonna give this a 1 out of 10. I'll give this a solid 8, to be honest with you. I, uh, I will agree with you on that 8. Radler's a 9 out of 10 for me, it's nostalgic. Nine. Yes! Alright, Stiegel, Radler, you're not a real alcoholic drink. So I can't rate you, I can't score you. You're gonna have to be zero. I feel like I've visited so many countries without actually leaving the UK. And that's a really good feeling. Alcohol from around the world, again, proves there is more out there than where you're living. Yeah, like you don't need to drink like Carlsberg <laughs> when there's stro out there. Standout one for me is Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago. I feel like that was just, whew, yeah. that noise out of the park. The sorrel was fire. Sorrel. I'm not gonna lie to you. Beautiful Trinidad, thing. they know what they're doing with the sorrel. Exactly. I also really enjoyed the Filipino beer. If you enjoyed this video, let us know which other countries we should feature in alcohol around the world. Stay tuned for part three.